Thanks, Derek. I'm Ben. This is my rent. <laughs> so uh, I've had a strange journey in journalism. I started out in television news in Chicago and through a wonderful thing called Night Car, sort of went on this odd journey that brought me here today, in which I've spent a lot of time being a web developer and learning a lot of weird, geeky web developer things. I just thought this might be a fun opportunity to kind of trot a few of those out and, and yell about them. <laughs> so why should you act more like a web developer, right? One, you can end some drudgery, make your life easier. Two, you can prevent mistakes and screw-ups and you know have a happier life. Three, you can improve teamwork, which I know is hard for reporters to hear, but it's true. And three, you can command robots. You can ultimately be good enough at it that you you sort of uh, you, you, you make extensions of yourself that go out there. All right. So uh, the talk is called Django Unchained because Django is a Python framework for helping you build websites. It's really nice. It was also the title of a movie the last year, but really it's just symbolic. It's just meant to stand in for web developer techniques in general. And not specifically Django, but I'm using it because I love it. Okay? Django. <laughs> all right. Number one, your laptop should be disposable. All right? Your laptop should be disposable. Never again. Never again should your laptop crash and lose everything. Should your project be fucked? Should you be up shit crazy? It should not happen. The worst thing you should do, use version control. Get on GitHub. Put your code. It doesn't have to be on your bed. It should be on a server in your newsroom, but put it someplace else. And start sharing it this way. All right, two database backups. Please just write that 10 line transcript to back up that database every night. You will thank yourself so much in the future. All right, two, find a religion, any religion. All right, this, this is nihilism. This has to stop. Exactly, exactly. You know just what I'm talking about, right? And I don't really care what system you pick. It can be anything, okay? I'm going to say go with Django and just like work everything into a Django project. You don't have to do that. Doug Smith in the back. Doug Smith has a beautiful system that spans six network drives and only he understands, but it's a freaking system, all right? You need one. All right, number three, stop feeding your database crap data, right? Stop using Excel to clean shit up. We've all seen this. We've all seen this. We go through an Excel, we add a new column, and we go down and we code it one by one, and then we run the pivot at the end, and what's it look like? Garbage, right? All you have to do is just use an admin, Django admin, have a pull down. Validate the data that goes into your database so you don't come out with crap at the end, right? Simple, really nice. Right, number four, follow the fourfold path of reusable apps. Now, this is one I picked up from my favorite web developer in the world, this guy James Bennett, who worked at the Lawrence Journal World, where they built Django, not as famous as the other ones, works at Mozilla now. And he gave this awesome talk about how if you follow these four simple principles, you're going to come out with great reusable code. And I think about this every day. The talk really changed my life. One, your code should do one thing and do it well. It's the Unix philosophy. When you write a function, a class, a method, an app, anything, just think about it that way. How do I keep it simple? How does the code do one thing and do it well, not become spaghetti code? Two, don't be afraid of multiple apps. Your app can have 100 different apps coming in, each doing one thing. And the 100 things that you do better is going to be even more awesome. Right? Number three, write for flexibility. Right? You need to take your code and think about it. How can I abstract this back so it doesn't just work for the thing I'm currently writing, but can work more generally? And for my favorite, you got a package to distribute. You gotta take that package, you gotta set it up, okay? Let's go on the right side, get home, or whatever, and somebody else can use it, right? Number five, automate yourself out of a job. This is sort of a, probably apocryphal catchphrase at Google, where anytime you see yourself doing something repeatedly and it's drudgery, you gotta find a way to automate it. This is how we act now. This is how we act at Icon. We say, the story's out there, my computer's my gun, I'm gonna hunt it and I'm gonna kill it and shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. And that's awesome, we make great stories, but we can take it to another level, right? We should be more like Minority Report. The code we write should be these spiders that sweep the city and find the story and bring it back to us. And that's the next level, and that's where we gotta go. We gotta think about how do we write apps that are algorithms that find stories, bring them. And then we have a hundred of those out there sweeping the city while we sleep. Okay, now, <laughs> That, or while we drink bourbon, right? <laughs> okay, now the real reason I gave this talk. The real reason I gave this talk is to flip the script. Here's five things that you geeks need to learn from reporters so that you can be better at what you do, 
right? Number one, trust no one. Try, don't trust your stupid data. This is a hilarious goddamn map that somebody made in Los Angeles, who I will not name, that claims that it is crime hotspots. But because the person making it didn't have a freaking clue what they were putting in, Santa Monica is the reddest place on the goddamn map. <laughs> That's on a major website right now, right? Number two, pick up the goddamn phone. Make a phone call. Find out what's going outside the office. Don't expect all these other people to bring data to you on a silver platter and have it just work perfectly. That's on you. You gotta make it work. All right, number three, seek a rabbi. When you're on the phone, you gotta find the people in the system who make the data, who know the data. And nobody ever asks them how it works. And when you do, they're gonna love you. And they're gonna tell you everything about it. You're going to come out with a better story that nobody else has that really gets to the heart of it, right? Number four, once you have that story, just take it and run. Don't spend the next six months saying, oh, I need an app that does everything and has all these magic features and runs forever. If you've got a story, run, tell that, right? You don't need to sit and wait. You need to pivot, you need to cut, and you need to take it to the end zone. And no, that is what I'm going to say, finish. There is nothing a geek likes more than starting a new project. Am I right? <laughs>